Chapter 7 uh, is about earthquakes. The first section is about earthquakes that occur along fault lines. We're going to talk about these fault lines. There are some uh, vocabulary words that you need. The first one here is a fault. A fracture in the Earth's uh, lithosphere or a break uh, where the blocks move past each other. Stress. Um, when the stress builds up uh, over these uh, fault lines, uh, rock versus rock is pushing against each other, pulling on each other, sliding past each other and a lot of stress builds up. When that stress is released, when that stress is finally let go, an earthquake happens. Um, you know, we did this in the class where we held our hands together and we were pushing together and our uh, hands started shaking and then one hand slid forward and we were like, ah, oh, that release of stress um, and, and that ruler that I broke too to show you. You can put stress on the ruler, uh, but then eventually uh, it does break, but when it breaks, that stress is gone. Um, that's the earthquake that we're going to talk about later on in the next couple sections. Um, well, most faults are found on those tectonic plate boundaries, those uh, transform boundaries, and those uh, divergent and convergent boundaries that we talked about the other day. Um, they're classified by how they move. We talked about three different types and uh, they are for a normal fault. And those occur normally near um, where uh, plates are moving apart, but um, I demonstrated in class just these two blocks, uh, two boxes of tissues. What happens here is one of the blocks, uh, as the rocks are trying to move apart, uh, slides down relative to the other. Um, this one in my left hand here stays relatively in the same spot, whereas the other one slides down. In a reverse fault, it does the opposite. The one on my left hand stays in its relatively same spot, and the other one slides up. Now, these are found near um, um, boundaries where the plates are pushing together, so there's a lot of stress pushing them together, and it just slides up. Uh, and then strike-slip faults, well, those guys those are the ones that um, the stress is back and forth, and so one or the other or both um, of the uh, uh, faults here, or the, the blocks of rock here, slide forward or they slide back along a horizontal plane. Now, in your book, uh, on page 224, there's really good pictures of it, so if you get online and check that out, that'd be really uh, a good idea. And... Um, I think there's a, a page on this link right here. I'm going to see if I have it open. And here's that link uh, at the bottom of that one uh, to start showing about a normal fault, uh, a reverse fault, and a strike slip fault. There's also um, other information in here, but um, if you get a chance to read this, uh, this is a lot of good information about each one of these types of faults. They kind of show a picture. Um, and when you click on it, um, it'll explain all the different parts of it. Uh, and uh, there's a reverse fault. Remember that one? Uh, one part moves up relative to the other one. This one stays still. This one goes up. And then a strike slip fault. One is sliding past the other. Um, so that's it. Uh, hopefully you got a lot of information. Uh, reading this information here uh, is uh, very helpful. A uh, little extra information that we won't necessarily get right out of the textbook. So um, have a good night.